All aboard! Well, hello and welcome to this video and I'm covering Diecast Modelers Community and our visit to Stafford on the 19th of the 6th, 2022 to go around the vintage toy further and the guys here from left to right are PJ from Midlife Models, Martin Durs from Martin Durs, Lee from Diecast Pixar Uppers, Paul from Pimp My Diecasts, and Neil from Hellboy59. And here, before we went in, is uh, Ford Cortina Mark IV and it's a 1600 GL they were a very nice motor worth a fortune night and as well we used to call Toy First Swap Mates because as well as going to purchase off people you traded and swapped and I took this to swap with Martin he brought in some model railways material for a little artistic lad on all so he can build up his railway layout which we much appreciated and anyway here we are making our way in in the queue having a chat having a good chin wag and a good meet up and good fun And heading up, when you get there, it's a fair old queue before they open the doors. It's a very popular event. And there is, there is catering on site in that building across from the actual event, but we didn't bother this time, we took sandwiches. But they do do catering and it's decent food at a decent price by today's standards. I had a nice full English when I went. Anyway, in we go. And as usual, we had a good chat to each other. At points, we lost each other and at other points, we were all there having a laugh with each other. Like having a bit of crack with star holders as well. Anyway, making way through. And it, it, there's no no way of denying it, this event, it's huge. You'll probably not see everything. Well, you 100% won't see everything in a day. You'll get round, but you don't have a chance to browse everything in depth. You're only really skimming, to be honest. You can't view everything everybody has, it's just too big. You just skim it. In fact, I've skimmed it and I found a few bargains, as you'll see after. And one's a great bargain. I'm, I'm going to be doing a small video. But I got a locomotive with wheels that were... The quartering were off, somebody had stripped it that didn't know what a, they were doing with it, rebuilt it, and it was totally wrong. They've tried to set it themselves and they've gone way out of kilter on it. Anyway, it's right now. So happy days. I've got a, done a very small video on it. Because it didn't warrant an in-depth video. I've got others that I'm going to be doing a full rebuild on on the 
Wheels, old man lime ones, I've got the spur gears and nylon bushes for it. So I'll be going more in line with them ones. <coughs> yeah, because they do it a bit different to Armby as well. But here, yeah, Martin and PJ are having a bit of ban to each other, and, and me as I'm there. I've got me GoPro on me headband. <laughs> Uh, to just to video it, is it? As, uh, this is just one hole. And the first time we visited, there were three holes. I think it was just two holes today. So you're never going to get round it in one day. You're never going to see everything that's offered, on offer in a day. I think this is where I got my first law call, my great western one. The quarter in my out on. Pretty sure. Yeah, that's it. Done the deal. So he's the one I got the great western one off. And there we are, we're disappearing. I goes a bit further up after. And I got Billy a little, a little arm B040. When he said a fiver, I just couldn't resist. I went, Fergal it, I'm having it. There we are, stall full of action men. There were some cracking action men there. All the different uniforms and the different types of action men. And Really good condition. I could have taken all them home with me if I'm honest. I'm mean, gonna look at another model railway style. There's quite a few, and I think this is where I got little Billy. I'm gonna look at him at that end and spotted in. There we go. And yep, yeah, asking how much, and he's coming home with me. <coughs> there we go. Do you want to see it run? No, well, I'll restore them. For a fiver, I'm not bothered if it runs on that. I'll sort it. And there we go. Having a look. There's so many boxes on a lot of stalls. Here we are. This is a area I'm not interested in, but they were all mint boxed. Old dinkies. Area I'm not really interested in. I like the old battered and untidy ones I can restore for me other channel. If you look it up, I'm called Pimp My Diecasts. So it's worth a look in. There you had PJ talking to Neil. And the amount of, like you say, you go on some stalls, they do a bit of everything. There's double O carriages, in with Dinky and Corgi on that stall. He does a bit of everything. To be honest, the amount of shizzle I have now, I could do a stall. In fact, I could do a couple of stalls, the amount of shizzle I have now. If you include her, fixed kits, dinky, cargy, matchbox, arm bit, mammoth. I could easily fill a couple of big stalls up. Go mooching around another model railway one. And there was one guy, I don't know where he is. 
I think I'll notice it after when it comes up. But he did trapdoor stuff. I think it's coming up. He did Burkhoff trapdoor. And I asked Price, and there was some I could send. Right, are you joking? I thought I'm not having one of them. <laughs> anyway, here's my two locals. I bought on the day. The Great Western with a quarter in a clog out. It had been stripped and reassembled by somebody who hadn't a clue what they were doing. Or he'd have been, did did not to wheel off and pushed it back on and it was wrong. But anyway, it was only a 10 minute fix. And sorted, I've got a nice little loco for a tenner. Because I bought no spurs or anything, it would just strip and rebuild proper. And little Billy for a fiver. Can't go wrong, two low costs to the stud for five pound. And here we have a dinky Bristol, a corgi Mustang dragster, and a corgi Whiz Wheeled police range, uh, an ambulance range rover. And we've got the corgi camera, and it's going on the Renault, it's not going on the comma van. That one's going on the Renault. So all in all, but they, that was off Le Lee at Diecast Fixer Uppers, give me the camera. So that'll be an interesting project when I come round to do the Renault. I just need the camera man. And here I have a Giesval Renault Estate, the yellow one. That'll be restored sooner or later. A Dinky Triumph Spitfire. And a dinky Studebaker. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you've enjoyed, please subscribe. Even better, if you press the bell icon for notifications. And just as good and fantastic, really, if you give me a thumbs up so other people see the video, that'd be most appreciated. Anyway... Take care out there, and tatty pie, people, tatty pie.